Ako magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. For those who don't know me yet, ako ay si Zekaraya Daniel Valdez Garcia. Or you could just call me Zaki. So, who is Jesus? Some of you may be wondering that. I know. And I know a lot of you have heard Jesus through the stories, through many videos in YouTube, even in parables in the Bible. But I know that there are a few of you still scratching their heads, wondering, who is Jesus throughout the Bible? Well, today, I would like to have this opportunity and this great privilege to share this message about who Jesus is throughout the Bible. And in the Old Testament, in Genesis, Jesus Christ is the breath of life. In Exodus, he is the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he is the high priest. In Numbers, he is the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he is the prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, he is the captain of our salvation. In Judges, he is our judge and lawgiver. In Ruth, he is our kinsman redeemer. In 1st and 2nd of Samuel, he is our trusted prophet. And in 1st and 2nd of Kings and Chronicles, he is our reigning king. In Ezra and Nehemiah, he is the rebuilder of the broken down walls of human life. In Esther, he is our Mordecai. In Job, he is our everlasting redeemer. And in Psalms, he is our shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he is our wisdom. In Songs of Solomon, he is our loving bridegroom. In Isaiah, he is our Prince of Peace. And in Jeremiah, he is the righteous branch. In Lamentations, he is the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, he is the wonderful four-faced man, feeling he is the wonderful four-faced man. In Daniel, he is the fourth man in the fiery furnace of life. In Hosea, he is the faithful husband, forever married to the backslider. In Joel, he is the baptizer of the Holy Ghost and fire. In Amos, he is the burden bearer. In Obadiah, he is mighty to save. In Jonah, he is our foreign missionary. In Micah, he is the messenger of beautiful feet. In Nahum, he is our strength and shield. In Habakkuk, he is God on evangelist, crying, Revive thy work in the midst of these years. In Zephaniah, he is our savior. In Haggai, he is God's lost, he is God's redeemer of his lost heritage. In Zechariah, he is the fountain opened in David's house for the sinned and unclean. And in Malachi, he is the righteous stone rising with healing and rising with healing in his wings. And in the New Testament, in Matthew, Jesus Christ is the King of the Jews. In Mark, he is the servant. In Luke, he is the Son of Man feeling what you feel. In John, he is the Son of God. In Acts, he is the Savior of the world. In Romans, he is our righteousness. In 1 Corinthians, he is the rock the father of Israel. In 2 Corinthians, he is the triumphant one, giving victory. In Galatians, he is our liberty. He set us free. In Ephesians, he is the head of the church. In Philippians, he is our joy. In Colossians, he is our completeness. 
1 and 2 Thessalonians, he is our hope. In 1 of Timothy, he is our faith. In 2 of Timothy, he is our stability. In Titus, he is our truth. In Philemon, he is our benefactor. In Hebrews, he is our profession. And in James, he is the power behind our faith. In 1 of Peter, he is our example. In 2 of Peter, he is our purity. In 1 John, he is our life. In 2 of John, he is our pattern. In 3 of John, he is our motivation. And in Jude, he is the foundation of our faith. And in Revelation, he is our coming King. He is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He is the keeper of creation and creator of all. He always, he is the architect of the universe and manager of all times. He always was, he always is, and he always will be. Unmoved unchained, undefeated, and never undone. He was bruised and brought healing. He was pierced in his pain. He was persecuted. He died and brought freedom and life. He is risen and brings power. He reigns and brings peace. The world couldn't understand him. The armies couldn't defeat him. The school couldn't explain him. The leaders couldn't ignore him. They couldn't kill him. The Pharisees couldn't confuse him. The people couldn't hold him. He couldn't crush him. He couldn't be silenced. You can't replace him. He is alive, love, and longevity. He is goodness, kindness, gentleness in God. He is holy, righteous, mighty, powerful, and pure. His ways are right and his words are eternal. His will is unchanging and His mind is on me. He is my Redeemer, my Savior, my God, my peace, my joy, my comfort. He is my Lord.